this is Stampy, and welcome to a Minecraft Let's Play video, and another video inside of Stampy's uh, lovely world. Today in this video, I'm going to be joined by Polly Reindeer. She is going to be uh, helping me out as we uh, continue building inside of the, the Fortune Fountain, and possibly... And I really do mean possibly here, because it's not 100%. Possibly we're going to get it completely finished today. I hope so. That is the plan. We'll see whether the plan ends up coming true at the end of the episode. All right, then. Uh, the first thing on the, the plan is to eat the cake. Nom, 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 nom. Second thing on the plan is to get Barnaby to, to stand up and join me. And tell you what, Barnaby, you can join us for the entire episode today. Why not? It's been a, a little while since I uh, had Barnaby join me. And it's also convenient because we're going over that way. It means I don't have to go to the doghouse and back. And I want Barnaby to join me as well. And hello, Polly. Right then, let's go down to the, the, the bottom of the, the love garden. I can I uh, can let you know who it is that I'm adding to it uh, today. And the person I'm adding to it today is Anna. And the reason I'm adding Anna is because she coloured in these versions of uh, my helpers and myself and you can see how crazy detailed the the coloring is and it just makes it a really cooler effect so you can see William Polly uh, fizzy and me there and it looks incredible so thank you so much uh, for doing that Anna that must have taken a very long time and uh, welcome to my uh, love garden All right then let's go to the the fortune fountain which is just upstairs here uh, and then over next to the uh, lovely uh, incorporated uh, building we did uh, good progress uh, we got a decent amount done in the the last episode I've made some changes and I will show you what those changes uh, will be in just one moment. So the first thing you can notice is you can, kind of, you can only like just about see it. Basically, the only way to see the fountain is to go on top of the theatre. So no one's ever going to see this. <laughs> uh, but as you can see, the water is just on at the, the moment. There we go. I have proved it. And I've changed the uh, the mechanism for, for the way the water will work. Uh, and there was two reasons for uh, why I changed the mechanism. One uh, is because... It was very difficult to fit enough redstone. Basically, we needed to add more of a delay and there wasn't much room to add more repeaters. So, yeah, that was one reason. There probably would have been a way to add it all in, but it was difficult. Reason number two is to make it less laggy. So now I'll show you how this works. Basically, what we have is we have a bit of dirt on a pressure plate inside of here. I'm trying to not pick up the, the dirt. And, uh, yeah, that sends off a, a signal to the, the dropper. When that dirt disappears, just because items after a while end up disappearing, that will turn off this redstone which will then turn on the torch which will then drop another piece of dirt so basically every time that dirt disappears it will go and either switch the the water on or off so at the moment the water's on if i go and pick up the the dirt that will then be now turning the the water off uh, because it fires out the next bit of dirt and then if i did it again the the water would be on so basically means it's much slower so it's more of a, an event when the the water ends up kind of coming out or dropping away so for now the water is off but later on in the, the video the water will turn back on and that dispenser is completely full with stacks and stacks and stacks of dirt so basically you should never really need to, to refill it unless you like I don't know, are in the same world for 100 hours or something. Like, you should never need to, to end up refilling that. So, yeah, that's the, the mechanism which will basically make it so the game lags less and we were able to, to fit it all in nicely. But anyway, uh, Barnaby, I will make sure you get to, to come inside here. And no, Polly, that's not the way that it works. That's not, that's not what the game... I mean, okay, I guess you could play it that way. You might find it more fun. <laughs> so, yeah, what we're doing to, at the back here is one of the... um, You know, like the... Oh, oh yeah, another thing. The lucky cat. I'm... I'm I'm gonna see if I can tame the lucky cat. So there's a cat which has always just been inside of here, and seen as it's like kind of oh no, no Polly, Polly, no, 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 I'm gonna try and tame it, Polly. I'm gonna try and tame it. So stay, stay away from it. Cats can be um. Yeah, they're, sometimes they're not the most confident thing in the, the world. Uh, basically, you just need to, to get quite... Oh, oh, it's coming, it's coming. Okay, I've only got four fish. So if I don't tame it with these four fish, I'm going to consider it not a lucky cat. So if I do get it in the four fish, uh, I will say that it is a lucky cat. And it is! It's a cat! I got another- I got a second cat! <laughs> I didn't really think of the importance of this, but not only do I have mittens, I now have Lucky Cat, and that is what I'm going to call it. I am going to call this cat Lucky Cat, and uh, Lucky Cat is going to, to live here inside of the, the Fortune Fountain, and basically bring good luck to, to everyone uh, that comes in here or is just close by in the, the area. Oh, this is exciting! <laughs> I, honestly, I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to get it, because normally they take a lot more fish than that, but of course... This is a lucky cat, so of course I was able to, to get it. Anyway, I want to get this thing built today. I haven't even, like, placed a single block down. So, right then. 
I'm going to be doing kind of like a, uh, a a slot machine type thing. It's only going to be just like a um, kind of like just a game version of it because you're not going to actually be able to, to win anything. It's just going to be like the, the fun uh, of playing. So basically, let me kind of start building the, the outside section here. And then I'll explain uh, probably how it's going to work. Oh, I might have to move... Oh, have I built this too far in? So the entire thing needs to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So I'm like counting from my, my picture. It needs to be nine blocks along. So if I just go from the, the middle here, then it should be four either side. So uh, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, so this is the, the size that it should be, but it shouldn't be that color. It should be light blue. So <laughs> let me just go and switch uh, all of these uh, around here like this. So yeah, basically, the way this thing is going to work is there's going to be a bunch of droppers which will be uh, dropping down uh, different items. Uh, and then you can basically, uh, yeah, you press a button, it will drop down either melons, uh, carrots, or apples. You need to try and get three in a row, and you just need to try and get win. And oh, this doesn't right. This doesn't look right. This isn't equal at all. One, two, three. Oh, I didn't go four this way. This is uh, supposed to go to, to there. So yeah, basically there's going to be some droppers at the, the top here. It's going to be really, really simple. The only tricky thing is there's also going to be levers, where if you pull a lever, you can basically make it stay. So say if there was like two apples, apples and one melon fell down I could try and keep the apples there and then press the button again and it'll just make the the melon uh, fall down which is kind of the uh, the one part of the of this that's going to be a little bit tricky but yeah this is how far away from the the wall it needs to, to be and then we can kind of go a little bit crazy here and just kind of make it really like shinies if there's a bunch of lights and stuff so we're going to use a uh, glowstone and kind of go up to the the top here like this uh, this is how tall it's going to end up being uh, the reason it's going to be this tall is basically just uh, to fit the, the redstone in uh, but yeah all of the the rest of the redstone is basically going to be like kind of hidden underneath the, the ground. So I tell you what, Polly, if you carry on just building up all of the, the walls and the, the ceiling uh, of this place with the, the light blue, uh, I'll go and uh, start adding in the, uh, the the more mechanical things that need to be added in. So here, here, and here, 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 uh, it's going to be the, the areas where the um, the, the droppers uh, are going to, to be. So uh, if I place some blocks there, there, and there, I'll be able to, to place the, uh, the droppers. Oh, do I have droppers? Where am I? Are my droppers in my in my chest? Oh, Polly. Oh, shit. I think. How do I make droppers again? Let me let me make. So I, I realized I forgot to bring droppers, which is a shame because they're like the most important thing that we need here. Uh, but I think I might be able to make them because dispensers you need an arrow, but I always forget what you need for for droppers. Oh, there we go. It's just redstone and cobblestone. There we go. Three droppers made here. So these uh, need to be facing down like that. One, two, and three. Uh, and then we can just go and cover them up with a, a block just because they, they kind of look a little bit ugly compared to everything else in the, the area. So we can go and cover all of these up there like that. And then the, the rest of this area uh, is going to be filled in with the, the front here like this. And then there's just going to be glass in front of them, which is basically to, to stop you picking up the, the items. Although you could kind of pick them up through the, the gap. Uh, yeah, basically it's going to, to be uh, like this here. And then, so this is where the item is going to be dropped down uh, underneath here. We are going to have some uh, some pistons, uh, which are basically going to drop away the items because what needs to happen is when you press the button, it will drop down three uh, fruit. But if you then press the button and it drops another three fruit, then basically you'd have just way too many. So it basically, we need a way to get rid of the, the fruit that is already there. So before the next one drops down, there's going to be some sticky pistons here uh, that are going to go and pull a block backwards that would have been there, uh, basically to, to get rid of whatever fruit is there before the next one drops down. So the levers need to not only stop another one being fired down but also stop this from being pulled away so just everything kind of stays the the way that it should be and as you can see i've got a quite a, a deep pit going down there and uh we need to add underneath here uh some hoppers which are basically uh, just going to to collect up all of the the items once they end up falling down so uh once again i need to go and craft some hoppers these are easy we just need chests and then we can go and make one two three hoppers uh, but i'm gonna do them from the the underneath because there's not really any easy way for me to to place a, a block underneath there so uh, I think I'll, I'll leave that for for now uh, and then I'm going to go and just add in uh, where all of the the um the, the buttons and the, the levers are going to be. So you can help me out here for a second if you want, Polly. If you just help me uh, fill in just the... There's going to be like an orange bit of carpet uh, at the, the front here, which kind of just marks this place as the, the area where you're playing the, the game. And then we can go and put down the, the, the levers and the, the buttons. Uh, and then that's going to be, of course, the, the thing that's going to end up being linked up with uh, with everything else. So this is just going to basically make a big triangle going here to a, a point. Uh, and then we can add everything else onto the, the top uh, of that. It's just easier to, to add all of this in now and excuse 
excuse me, a second lucky cat. Hopefully the, the lucky cat is gonna is gonna help give me luck, so I'm gonna actually end up building this thing right. And oh, oh, this isn't right, because it should end up going to a tip. Oh, there we go. That one's supposed to go there like that. That one goes there like that. And there we go. That one goes there like that. And actually, I'm gonna switch around a few of these blocks just to... Uh, I might actually end up leaving them like this, but basically I want to make it very easy when I'm underneath uh, what is going to, to be where. So hopefully uh, this is all gonna make a, a little bit more uh, sense to you once I go and add these in. Uh, basically, I need to go and make myself my three levers, uh, which are going to be in front of all of the, the areas. And then the, the big main button, uh, which is going to be the thing that you press to, to set everything off, is going to be at the, the front there. And then lever there, lever there, and lever there. So uh, yeah, the, the rest is going to be all covered on the, the inside. I don't want to bother about uh, adding that now, uh, just because it will be easier for, for me to, to be able to, to see everything. So the first thing I need to do is I need to link up. So when I press this button here, it will set off all of these pistons to get them pulled back. Uh, and then also uh, go and uh, set up all of these droppers to, to go and uh, and drop down. So it's going to be a very simple trail of redstone to go and link them all up. Uh, so yeah, let me speed up the, the video while I go and, uh, and build that. Okay, I know that was like <laughs> probably impossible for you to watch because I did quite a lot and it was quite fast, but I can explain what it, I uh, what I did. So basically, uh, let's start up at the the top up here with my little redstone staircase that I made, and oh, let's uh, build around here as well. Like one of the most difficult things is like. Like, it's not the actual building of it, it's the having to build stuff to be able to reach it, and I kept jumping and trying to place down torches and missing and stuff. It was embarrassing. That's <laughs> that's why I'm glad I sped it up. So yeah, this is where the button is. When you press the button, I need to add some repeaters in, but basically this button will go and first uh, turn off these uh, redstone torches, which are currently underneath these pistons. So these are the ones that will pull out, uh, you know, and get rid of whatever items are, are underneath. Uh, so yeah, they, they will go and get pulled back and drop down the items. Then the trail will will continue making its way down there. It will then go to those torches, which go up to the, the very top. And uh, that is where the, um, bum, 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 the, um, the droppers are. Uh, so that will then fire out the, the fruit afterwards. In theory, this is all in theory. This is all 100% untested. So uh, we will test it. So so that I need to make sure that happens is that this all happens uh, more delayed. So let's go and um, add in a, a couple repeaters. I think maybe let's do like three on each row if we can uh, and then that way we should definitely have things uh delayed enough uh to be able to um to to make sure that the the the, the piston has time to get pulled back and then push forward again uh, before all of the, the items end up going all over the, the place. Uh, two two might be enough. We're, we'll test it with two and then if we need to go and add in more we can go and uh, and do that and then hopefully this uh, this redstone trail is going to, to make its entire way down there. Also while we're down here we haven't added in our hoppers yet have we? I forgot about the, the hoppers. So these need to be basically right underneath here. So if I place that block there and then there we go I was able to place that down. This next one should be here. I then need to get rid of the, the dirt because otherwise it's blocking off all of the, the redstone. This basically just collects up all of the, the items and you know you won't, you won't need to reset it that much because <laughs> people won't be playing it that much but every now and then you just need to, to go and be able to, to reset it. Don't worry too much about these pistons for now. These are the ones that are going to be linked up to the, the lever uh, but we haven't kind of got to that point yet. So uh, Polly you stay down there for now. We might end up having to, to switch around and I might have to make you keep on pressing the button until it works. So let me just throw some let me just throw some items in there for for now. Let's just go and throw uh, a bit of cobblestone in this one. We can throw some sticks inside of this one. And then let's just go and throw some ladders inside of this one. Any items will do for for now. So let's for starters see if literally anything happens when I press the button. Oh, there we go. So far, so good. And then not so good. <laughs> so the pistons, 100%, they work perfectly and instantly. Let's just switch a lever down for for now. Let's follow the, the trail of redstone. It might, ah, okay. Very simple, very simple case. Basically, there's just not enough re repeaters uh, for it to, to make its entire way down. So uh, let's let's streamline this redstone a little bit, shall we? Let's, uh, let's do a bit of uh, improvising. So if this redstone trail goes down to here, we can then just put a torch on the, the end there like that. 
And then uh, we can go and add some more redstone, which will be underneath the, the torch. This basically means that when the, um, the the redstone reaches it, it will turn that torch off. At the moment, it's off anyway, because there's a lever. And then we can do the same thing down here. So this is a good way to, to make it so you don't need to do that weird staircase technique. Uh, it saves your, your redstone and a, a bit of space. Also, uh, it means it will like reset the, the signal, so the signal will be able to, to make its way further. So if I then do another torch here, I can then go and add in some dirt blocks uh, along along here like this and then I can go and add in this redstone leading down there like that and that looks like it is linking up with all of them apart from these ones yeah so it can't make its way up to, to these repeaters so basically I need to, to make sure that we have some uh that's it you, you do it Polly that was correct so yeah basically these need to be down here like this I might just add one extra cheeky repeater down here just to, to make sure that it is uh, delayed enough because I am a little bit worried that it wasn't going to be otherwise right then let me go up to the, the top let me go and switch the the, the lever back to a button Button. And I'm, you know what? I'm feeling pretty confident. I'm, I've, I'm kind of amazed because whenever I'm building something like this, I always do do like a plan. I always do like do a plan in my sketchbook world. But this is like what I'm building now is like completely different to the plan. And oh, look, it worked. It worked. So what should happen now? I'll pull the, the lever. It will get rid of all three of those items and then drop down three more. There we go. They drop away. And then wait for it. There we go! Three more drop down. I think we could even get rid of that extra repeater as well, because I don't think it's needed because the, the delay is like way longer than it needs to be. I just want to do this all day because that's just really fun and I'm amazed that it works. But of course, it won't be ladders and cobblestone and sticks dropping down. It will instead uh, be all of the, the different fruit that is needed to, to drop down. So there we go. That's like the main part working. Like you could do that and that is a way to play. You know, you could keep just pressing it until you get the, the items that you, uh, you want. But we are going to take it one step further. We need to make it so that these levers, uh, I guess, going to, to basically essentially turn one of them off or two or even all three of them off. I don't know why you do that because at that point you're not even playing the, the game. <laughs> so basically what is going to happen is when you pull the levers it's going to extend out some pistons that are basically just going to, to outright stop the, the redstone uh, to, to make it so that it won't work. So let me go and just pile up here to get on stop on top of here. This is going to be like such like a messy room by the time I'm finished. There's going to be so many like piles of, of dirt and stuff all over the place. So yeah, these um, these pistons here, this is exactly what they are for. If I just go and place any blocks on the, the front of them, when these get extended, they will then be blocking off this redstone, uh, basically meaning that the, the piston won't get pulled back and the item won't go anywhere. It will stay in place. So these just need to end up being linked up uh, with the, the top here with where these buttons are going to be. So if I go and, you know, if I, oh, Polly, can you go upstairs for a second? Let me just test to see if this will work. I think it will, but I'm never sure. <laughs> Bye, Polly. <laughs> just see it fly up. Can you just go and start pressing some of the buttons in the, the game just to see if it extends these uh these pistons no, no, no sorry the the levers pull the levers sorry my bad my bad oh there we go yeah pull the middle one and then pull the right one i think this one's gonna work but it's just fun to see it working okay that's good okay you can leave them all as they they are now so these ones these are done i don't need to add any more redstone to, to these whatsoever which is good the tricky thing is i then uh, now need to to link these up with the 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 other one so basically i need to do a trail of redstone from here uh, down to a piston down there let me just add these pistons in to, to show what it is i'm talking about so you'll notice that i kind of did the redstone kind of going up here like this kind of on a point that is because i want to do the exact same thing that I did down there. So if I had a block here, I can then go and grab... Oh, hello, Polly. I just, like, looked away from the menu and you were standing right there. Uh, these could basically be here, like... Nope, not like that, not facing down. If this is facing forward like this, when this gets extended, it's going to stop the, the redstone there. So basically exactly the, the same as we did with the, the other ones, uh, but down here. So let's just go and add all of these in. So yeah, once again, I'm just going to be linking up the, the trails of redstone. So I'll do it uh, with the, the video speeded up. And then I'll talk you through exactly what it is that I did. And then we can test it to see if it's going to be working. Because you know what? So far, so good. <laughs> Okay, so I think we are done, I believe. So I did the, the two on the right, and then Polly did one on the left as well, which uh, <laughs> was the most difficult one I did. I was like, oh, Polly, would you mind just doing that one? Not thinking that that is the one which is like completely around all of the other redstone. So Polly was able to, to fit that in there. Uh, the middle one was actually quite tricky as well, just because you need to avoid everything else. So it's it's not pretty. 
It's not pretty, but I believe it should be working. So I think I'm ready to put some fruit into this thing. So uh, inside of this chest over here, we have a, a bunch of stuff. So as I said, we got melons, carrots, uh, and apples. Uh, yeah, basically a bunch of things that are, are very easy to, to get a whole load of them. So let's go and grab a bunch of these. So basically we want there to be an even chance uh, of, of each thing coming up. Of course, if you're doing it your, yourself, you could add more things in. You know, you could add different things in. If you have loads and loads of gold, I think gold and apple, and golden carrots and stuff would be good things to, to add in. I don't really have enough gold to, to be able to, to do that, so I think I'm going to leave it with just these three for an hour. So, right, let's see if it works. So, I'm going to go press the, the button, and then that will fire out all three pieces of the, the fruit. <laughs> I got a little bit scared then. I got a little bit scared. Okay, so I got two apples and a melon. So, if I pull this lever and this lever, <laughs> it keeps flapping that down there. Um, yeah, if I pull, I, I must be, there must be some redstone setting that off. <laughs> that is weird. <laughs> We can sort that out, but yeah. So if I pull these two levers, the apple should stay there, but the melon should switch. So if I press the button again, oh, down goes the melon, and is it going to drop something else down? It drops down another melon. <laughs> so apart from my bad luck, that is working absolutely beautifully. So yeah, uh, let's go and start filling in the the rest of the um the inside here because it's rather uh, ugly at the the moment so we can just go and place in some blocks around the the back there which is going to cover up all of the the workings i can then go and add in some glass uh, as well so let's go and oh do it yeah do it one forward and then that way uh, you won't be able to see anything so yeah there's going to be glass there glass there and uh, and glass there just to, to basically cover the the entire thing off uh, we can then also go and get rid of this uh, this ladder because this ladder is uh, is no longer lead needed uh, so we can go and uh, fill that in there <laughs> it's funny because this is just going to keep flapping. Look, if I do this lever, it fla somehow this links up to flap that down there, which I think is kind of hilarious. I might leave it like that. <laughs> One of the other things I wanted to do was to just to add some item frames and uh, do them uh, along the, the top of uh, of these. Actually, I might do them on top of here like that, uh, just to, to then have... Um the different fruit. I don't know. I think it will look good. And of course, the carrots. When I get a carrot, I'll go and, uh, and do that. Uh, so, oh, this one needs to be flat back. Let's have a go then. So let's say we're each able to do one hold, Polly, and then we're going to see who ends up getting three in a row. Let's say that uh, apples are worth the most because you love apples so much, and then melons and then carrots. Okay, so you can go first, Polly. So go and press the, the button, uh, and that will go and uh, drop down three. And then you can have one go of holding if you'd like to hold it. Oh, no. Oh, we've broke it. <laughs> How, why is it not working now? Why is it Why is it not working? Is there anything that... Oh, I, th I think... I think we might have filled in too far at the back because we only needed to do the blocks right behind where the, the glass... Okay, I think I'm just going to have to break away the glass just because I don't want to be digging through there and messing anything up. So, yeah. On we only place... The, uh, the blocks directly above where those pistons are. Don't do anything else because this is where the redstone leading up to the, the dispensers are. So I believe, yeah, that's all of them filled out. So it should be working again. <laughs> I love that. I love we get it all 100% working straight away. And then we try and cover it up and then it immediately breaks. Right, let me just do a test before I put the glass in. Right, so are the pistons going to go? Oh, just nothing's happening now. Why is just nothing happening? Why? <laughs> no, literally, just nothing is... When I press the button, literally nothing... Okay. Right, looks like we need to open this up. Right, you stay up the top, Polly. And you press the, the button when I say. And I'll try and... Uh I'll try and look and try and find out what is uh, what is going on down here to, to break it. That is absolutely amazing. This is pretty much how things go every single time I'm doing redstone. Right, let me just go and uh, make a, a pile of dirt just so I can get up to the, the top. And then let's just try and see if I can troubleshoot to find out what's going on. Right, okay, press the, the button now, Polly. And let's see. Okay, so it's going... Oh, are these pistons... Ah! These pistons are staying... Oh, are all the... Oh! Ah! <laughs> That is amazing, Polly. You won't believe what it was, Polly. You won't believe... Yeah, it's okay. I can fix it, Polly. I can fix it. Do you want to know what the... Do you want to know what the problem is? The, well, the problem is, is that we're both idiots. That's the problem. This was the problem, Polly. We had the pistons all pulled the wrong way. They're supposed to be back this way. Oh, there's Polly hanging her head in shame. That is amazing. It was all completely working fine. And we just had to switch the levers. Right. Have a go now. It should be working. It should be. There we go. And now it's working. Right. And Polly got. Oh, that's really good. If you get one more apple, 
then you will be the the winner. So are you going to choose to hold them? Of course she is. She's going to go and uh, hold the, the apples. But there's only a one in three chance of her getting an apple. She might just get another melon, but she got... A melon. <laughs> Those silly melons, but that's still good. Two apples is still good in this game. So let me go and have a have my go. Uh, so I'm going to go and press it. Three apples, three apples, three apples. Thinking lucky. Come on, lucky cat. Come on, lucky cat. Three apples, three melons. That's got to be some bonus points, doesn't it? That's got to be. I might as well just press the button again then and just see if I can get another three. That is crazy just to get three on my first go. And now, oh, two apples and a carrot. Right, let's hold the, the apples, press the, the button and... And we got another melon. <laughs> I'm fed up of seeing melons. <laughs> but basically, that is the, the way that the, the game works. It wasn't easy, but we were able to get the entire thing built. And this is uh, the place entirely and completely finished. The uh, the fortune fountain is done. And we have a brand new lucky cat to, to live inside of here. So it looks like uh, Polly wants to, to carry on playing, basically just to, to try and get uh, as many apples as, uh, as she can, I uh, assume. Uh, but yeah, while she does that, let's just go and get a bit of fresh air because I've spent way too long underground taking taken in the fumes of redstone. <laughs> so yeah, that is the, the end of my uh, fortune fountain uh, building. Uh, we are going to be going back to the, the, the fun land next to, to build a brand new mini game. And as always, I will leave a link down in the description uh, to the episode once it's online. But for now, I want to thank you all very much for watching and I will see you all later. Bye!